Today we're going to talk about the PA systems that have been installed on all of our buses uh, this year. Uh, these have been installed on all of our international series uh, bus number 4 through 25 and then also the 900 series bus 956 through 978 um, then on all of our Thomas buses uh, beginning with the 100 series up through the new 1800 series. Now with the PA systems there are three speakers per bus with the exception of the 600 series 400 series where those have four speakers but on all of the others they are three speakers per bus. The PA system does have two volume controls we have one on the main unit right here and through our testing uh, keeping it at approximately three o'clock um, with it pointed to the right is, uh, is, a, is the optimal uh, volume level. The other volume control is right on the microphone itself. As you can see here there's a little uh, dial that you can spin around. It goes from zero all the way up to ten. With our testing uh, on a Thomas bus uh, around ten uh, between 8 and 10 it seems to be a pretty good volume but you'll uh, be able to determine that once you have kids on board and 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 see which which uh, is a, an appropriate level for when you're using the system the internal and external switch as seen here has been wired in such a way that you can flip it either direction and your volume will come out of the internal speakers that are mounted inside the bus so whether you switch it to this this direction here or the other, it doesn't really matter. It will work either way. There is a green indicator light that will come on only when you are keying the mic. The uh, unit will only work when your key is in the on position or in the accessory position. So you can't have the, the uh, key off to use the system. We'll now talk a little bit about the phone systems that are on our Thomas buses. Now this is a change uh, from the previous years. If you drive a 100 series transit Thomas bus, you will notice that your phone system that used to be on the right side of your dash is now presently mounted on the left side of your dash. And this was to make room for the PA system that was installed in the location approximately where the phone system uh, previously was mounted. The uh, microphone and phone itself have been moved to the left side of the dash. However, the uh, volume control knob, which is the amplifier, is still mounted on the right side, as well as the external speaker. So you will still control your volume uh, on, on the right side of the dash, um, and that's in the same location that it was previously installed. If you drive a Thomas, 200 series, 300 series, 400 series, 600 series, and 1800 series, these all have a new phone system that have been installed. Now it is the same phone, it's just a different phone kit that is used that is uh, from our test. It works a little bit better than the old system. The phone kits have been installed on the left side of the dash. The microphone for this is uh, located approximately by your uh, left knee. The speaker is still mounted on the right side of the dash, uh, but your volume control for this particular phone will be on the phone itself. You will use the up and down uh, volume control button that is on the side of the phone. On the side of the phone, you can see this button here is the volume up button. Down here is the volume down button. Again, volume up, volume down. There is no uh, volume knob to control the volume level, so this is how you have to control it. We'll talk now a little bit about our camera systems. We have a DVR system that uh, has been installed on all of our buses. Um, it is the same system that has been on our buses for several years now. There is a green indicator button that is on your dash. This green indicator light is uh, very essential to the process of knowing that your DVR is working properly. It's very important that you do not use any tape or band-aids or any other uh, pieces of material to cover up this light uh, because 
uh, again, the light is there to show whether the DVR is working properly. Again, when you turn your bus on, the light will flash for about a minute. It will go solid and stay solid throughout your entire route. When you turn the key ignition off, the light will stay solid for five minutes and then start flashing for about one minute. If for some reason your DVR green button begins to flash uh, during your route, that could indicate that there is a problem with the DVR. If this happens for a few seconds and it only happens one time or two times, you wouldn't really need to worry about that. But if it continually flashes, if when you have your bus running and it, it flashes for a very long time, this definitely needs to be reported to your shop on your pre-trip sheet so that it, the problem can be addressed. I hope you have found these videos helpful and I really want to wish everyone a really great school year.